guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss the rest of this series. We are on night number six and we're gonna be talking about 1954's Creature from the Black Lagoon. This is another black and white film, but unlike the other two Universal Monsters that we have already talked about, this one was actually shot in 3D. The technology for this time um, was pretty advanced because they do actually have some underwater shots which we're gonna go ahead and start there you guys the cinematography underwater is absolutely beautiful and wonderful the way that they're able to make this like murky ass nasty ass looking lagoon water first of all who the hell wants to go swimming and I just say that because the girl here she's like I'm gonna go take a dip in here and why well then again it isn't black and white so maybe like in color it looks better <laughs> it looks nicer it's called the black lagoon I'm assuming it's black and it's looking pretty murky even when you're down in the water so I'm like I would not want to be I know I need like clear water because I want to see what's there I want I don't want nothing trying to like sneak up on me I mean they can still sneak up on me obviously in clear water but like I can at least see what's like attacking me at that point and not wondering what the hell's attacking me and I also say that and I know I'm jumping around you guys because I'm gonna leave the forgetting they do talk about uh, this movie um, having that sense of well, what's lurking in the water. So it was this funny moment, you guys. Not, nothing that actually happened in the movie, just something that happened like in real time when I was watching it. There's this like bubble scene, which now that I know it's in 3D, that bubble scene makes sense. I was just like, bubbles, 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 bubbles. And I just cannot believe you don't know that reference if you don't know. I put a photo here so you know who, who set that. The design of the creature, you guys, was actually really, really cool. I really dug it. There was actually two actors and two uh, separate sets of uh, creature designs. One for the on, on land uh, scenes and one for the underwater scenes, which they were both actually filmed on two different locations. One was shot on set and the other one was shot somewhere in Florida. Julie Adams plays Kay who is the female lead. Actually she's the only female I believe in this in the movie and she is absolutely beautiful you guys. Um, there she does have this really nice um, scene where she's swimming around in this murky ass water and she's just doing some things. She's over here like swimming and twirling and everything and then here comes the creature like mimicking her underwater. Really really love that scene you guys but it's like again and it goes to well, what the hell is underneath because she had no idea that that creature was under there you guys no idea i'd be so scared you guys she is i guess like the love interest here even though it's never really i guess set because the creature doesn't talk but the creature just seemed to be very obsessed with capturing k so i really can't say if it really does have a love story as the other uh monster movies but he did seem to be very uh, attached well not attached but drawn to her and kept trying to kidnap her and i just I generally love this movie you guys like i feel like the creature from the black lagoon might be underrated like i honestly don't hear too many people talking about this particular movie or this particular monster rather i hear everybody always talking about or doing remakes about dracula the werewolf the mummy where are more creature stories yes 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 we did get the oscar winner the shape of water from Guillermo del Toro a couple years ago which i absolutely love like i love 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 that movie and that one does have more of a love story i love this monster and it's honestly one of my favorite monsters from the monster universal monster uh catalog that i've seen uh, mind you, I have already seen Frankenstein from when I filmed this one. And yes, Frankenstein is great because I know a lot of people really, really love Frankenstein. That that's like their favorite one. But personally, this is the winner for me, you guys. Like, no joke. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and give the creature from the Black Lagoon a large popcorn. If you've seen this movie, let me know down below what did you think about it. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? If you've never seen this movie, is it maybe something now that you want to see? Oh, one thing I almost forgot to tell you guys that I thought was so funny. That actually happened in the movie, you guys. Talk about the damsel in distress. Talk about what they do to these women in these movies, you guys. Like, seriously. You know, she's sitting down looking like all cutesy, like, out into the water. And the gill man, of course, is coming from behind her. She turns around and sees him. And she's all like, ah! Oh, my God! Like, help me! And, like, gets up. And then she trips. 
like she's trying to go around a tree and she trips we're not that clumsy i mean like i am clumsy but like i don't think if a monster was following me i don't think i would fall i probably would fall yeah he would probably catch me but thankfully i have like a meanie so you know he had a hard time carrying k and she's like petite and i got way more meat on me so maybe he won't be able to pick me up so yay all right guys i think that's pretty much all i'm gonna say about the creature from the black lagoon it's just wonderful to look at uh, again it has stunning shots underneath i did enjoy everybody's performances not everybody it was great but i, I did enjoy it overall the story again simple it wasn't long like none of these movies are long um i do love the way that we were introduced to the creature also like that menacing like hand coming in like that's all we would see at the beginning like in a couple shots where it's just the hand coming out from the water and i mean that was so freaking awesome and then we have him like actually attacking the people in the tent but you don't see him until later on that you finally get to see like the glorious creation that is the creature he really is just trying to protect his home because of course these damn scientists can't mind their damn business digging around places that they shouldn't like they did in the mummy digging up shit that they shouldn't have been digging up and over here they're digging up some stuff they found a damn hand and they're like well we need to find where this hand belongs to there's like this black lagoon that's kind of like the end of it let's go over there and then what happens the creature like traps them in there and it's trying to take people out i know you guys it's like another part of the review like i totally forgot this part like i got so excited to tell you guys my score and i still have apparently more to say <laughs> i probably have more to say but i can't think about it right now but we're trying to make these a little bit shorter because the first few reviews are pretty lengthy you guys and and i don't know i, I feel like y'all probably don't like the lengthier ones I do go a little bit more into them but we're gonna try to like shorten them up with these like older classic uh ones because we can't have my review be longer than the damn movie itself you guys that is it for me tonight i'll see you guys tomorrow bye